Mother Teresa, this is the sixth quote of Mother Teresa. I'd like to continue to melt with every word what she said again and again and again because that was the, a true karma yogi in India. All others sit on the chair, but the true karma yogi never sat, kept moving, moving with the, with the crowd. And that's why I thought, uh, wherever I get a chance, wherever there's a gap on my non-stop lectures, I'll try to include Mother Teresa as much as possible. Mother Teresa said, be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. When she said it is in small things, she herself was explaining when she was walking on the streets of Calcutta. One small boy came and begged the ma, I'm hungry. She digged her hand into her bag and pulled out a bun and she gave to that small boy. And instead of eating that bun, she saw that small boy was running. She ran behind that boy and little far away in a crowded building, he could see a small girl sitting that was his sister. She tore the bun into two pieces and gave half to her and half he was eating. Mother was shocked even in this poverty. <laughs> Hungry, the boy did not want to eat that total bun. He ran. That was the strength of and the beauty of this India, she said. That small things matter. She learned that small, small love relationships of the people. When uh, Mother Teresa was saying this, be faithful in small things, it reminded me about Mahatma Gandhi. One day Pandit Jawala Nehru and Sardar Vallabhai Patel was waiting for Mahatma Gandhi. And Mahatma Gandhi was not at all coming out. So it seems that Panditji got very angry and called the girls and said, I'm the Prime Minister and Sardar is the Home Minister of India. We have to go ask Mahatma Gandhi, ask Bapu to please come and meet us. So the girls went and told Bapu. When Bapu came out and he apologized to Panditji and he said, I'm sorry, uh, I was late because I was searching for a pencil, a small pencil while I was traveling and I was begging, asking people to give funds for my Harijan fund. Hari means God, Jan means the people of God, God's own people. For them, I was asking for funds and one small boy came and told me, Babu, I don't have money, but I can give you my small pencil. Small. So I kept a small pencil for writing small things. So I was searching and fell somewhere in my room. And uh, Jawaharlal Nehru told Pandiji, since what Babu wants small pencil, I can gift one lorry load of pencil. And Mahatma Gandhi said, no, 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 Pandiji. Uh, that small pencil is very important. If we don't give importance to that small pencil, Tomorrow, as Prime Minister, you will not give importance to that one person. And if you don't know to give importance to one person, the total people of India, you will not get a chance to give importance. Today, they will call you Prime Minister. Tomorrow, they'll call you Crime Minister. That small thing. Yes. Mother Teresa said, be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. When this was said, I was recollecting the Zen master, the foot of the mountain. The robber entered the Zen master's hut. First of all, there was nothing in the hut. There won't be anything in the hut. Zen masters don't keep anything in the hut. And 
the Zen master was taking birth when he came out, when he was coming towards his hut, he saw one robber running with his belongings. Zen master clapped and he told the robber since stop and the robber was shocked because the stop sound was like the thunder. Robber freezed. He turned around and looked and he saw the Zen master with a small towel and it seems the Zen master removed the towel and the robber looked at the Zen master, naked Zen master and the Zen master said, please take this towel, this is my last thing I had in my hut. Who knows, you might need it tomorrow, you might come back for this one. And it seems the rob robber in a shock, he got multiple satoris and he became enlightened, he became one of the greatest teachers of the land. Small thing matters.